But then <clears> Channel <throat> Four came along and showed the American football. Yeah. A lot of razzmatazz. Oh, uh, I used to I used to sit down on a Sunday with a dairy milk chocolate and a glass of milk, and um, I'd watch it in the sofa. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty-four, thirty-six, forty-nine. Hut, hut, hut. What am I talking about, Tom? You're talking about American football. Yes. We want to know what the best beers are to drink with the gridiron. Yes. Um, and a lot of people tend to think when it comes to American beers, they're just a bit shit, really. Yeah. They're sort of yellow, fizzy, yeah. no flavour. That's not true. Is no, it? there's a joke about American beer. That's what's the similarity between American beer and having sex in a canoe? They're both close to water. Yeah, which is true. In the yeah. 80s, that's what it was. Yeah, there's 40 breweries in America, just 40. There's more breweries in London at the moment. And they're all making the same lager, and it was nonsense. It was just bland, horrible stuff. And then in the 80s, for various reasons, uh, more travel to Europe, people realised that beer could be better, and they started they legalised home brewing, which had been banned from Prohibition years ago. Mm. And so all these sort of liberal guys started making sourdough and brewing and home brewing in their basements and their backyards and things like that. And one of the people that have been the founding fathers of the uh, craft brewing revolution was a man called Ken Grossman, who was running a bike shop, and he set up Sierra Nevada Brewing Company. He did, and people often ask us what is our uh, favourite beer, and we do point to Sierra Nevada as a, uh, the pale ale particularly, as uh, one of the most consistent beers mm. from around the world. Um, and we were lucky enough to go, go to Sierra Nevada's brewery and, the reason we know so much about why do we know so well, much about the reason we know so much about American beer, Ben, is because we wrote a book. Yeah, we did a, write an a book award-winning book. Wasn't yeah, it? we went. We travelled all the way up from uh, from Seattle right down to San Diego. Visited every beer bar, brewery, and Vegas, which is not on the West totally Coast. Up. It was recorded at the West Coast, no, but we just went to no, Vegas uh, to muck about. Um, yes. And we tasted some amazing beers, but this really was a great one. Now uh, we're drinking the IPA, the California IPA, not the Pale Ale, which no, is just I a bit lighter because it. it's not as strong. Mm. Is it four point two percent? Four percent. And what American beer does very well is that they showcase the hop aromatics well. Cascade and, hop. The, the cascade, cascade hop, that aromatic pale ale, those aromatic pale ales, IPAs that gone out of fashion in Europe. American breweries breathed life back into it, mm. and they, they did it with they do much better all the branding and stuff, and they inspired the craft revolution over here. Mm. Um, and and uh, we should shout out to Chico, the city where this, the town where this is made, uh, a brilliant party town. Isn't mm. it? We did go there when we were writing our award-winning book, oh. and uh, we probably I, I, I drank a bit too much. Um, uh, and uh, I, was, I was a bit sick. I was a bit sick around a brewery tour, but not this brewery no, tour. No, very Came good powder you. dry very for this one. You. I can't even remember the name of the other brewery. No. So that's but this good. one is, uh, the amazing thing about Sierra Nevada is apart from it making brilliant beer, they've remained totally independent. Loads of other breweries in America sold out to the big guys. Mm. Ken Grossman has remained fiercely independent and he's still brewing all the same beers, the same amount of integrity. So if you're gonna have one beer, during the Super Bowl, have an American beer, don't have Budweiser, don't have Bud Light, don't have Cools, don't have any of that nonsense. No. Pick a prob have a Sierra Nevada Pale Ale. We did have Sierra Nevada Pale Ale, but I drank it. Mm. Mm. Yeehaw, baby. Mm. Yeehaw. Thank you for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Mm. Now remember, like and subscribe. There's a good boy stroke girl. Or any gender, really. <laughs>